Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Trump and Kemp and reports that are irrefutable and appointments and immunity and exoneration and spaghetti. So the former president has made some claims, and they are odd, um, and he has scheduled something, so we're, we're just, you know what, I'm just going to read it. A large, complex, detailed, but irrefutable report, all caps, on the presidential election fraud which took place in Georgia is almost complete and will be presented by me at a major news conference at 11 a.m. on Monday of next week in Bedminster, New Jersey. Based on the results of this conclusive, all caps, report, all charges should be dropped against me and others. There will be a complete exoneration, all caps. Remember that word. They never went after those that rigged the election. They only went after those that fought to find the riggers, all caps. Okay, so Trump has made an appointment for Monday of next week. That's fine. He can do that. He can go pillow guy and try to resurface the claims that have just widely been disproven. Um, and that's that's fine. That is his right. It's just worth noting that rather than scheduling a major news conference, uh, the time might be better spent getting ready for the much more important appointment he has Friday of next week. Now, as far as the claims about Georgia, Kemp, the Republican governor of Georgia, had some things to say about that. The 2020 election in Georgia was not stolen. For nearly three years now, anyone with evidence of fraud has failed to come forward under oath and prove anything in a court of law. Our elections in Georgia are secure, accessible, and fair, and will continue to be as long as I'm governor. The future of our country is at stake in 2024, and that must be our focus. Okay, so I have I have long held the belief that Kemp is one of the few people in the Republican Party that can return it to center. And to be clear, when I say that, I'm talking about getting rid of the, the ultra-far-right elements. Um and bringing the Republican Party back to the center of what it was, not making it a centrist party. That's never going to happen, and certainly not with Kemp. Um, but he is one of the few people who seems to have the political pull and the desire to get rid of MAGA and all of the, the more blatant authoritarianism that goes with it. It seems like he's viewing this as his moment to start that process. So, eyes on Georgia. Uh, eyes on Kemp. Because there may be some surprises coming there. Um, so, yeah. The former president is going pillow guy. He's going to float a bunch of conspiracy theories. That, that's where that's headed. Um, now, something else that is being floated about Trump is that he has presidential immunity. I'm not going to go too far into this because I'm certain that LawTube is just going to have a field day with it. Uh, I'm just going to simply say, that's not a thing. That is not a thing. Uh, there is no blanket immunity for former presidents. It doesn't exist. It's That's made up. Um, I will allow the, 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 the legal people on YouTube to do that. I'm just going to point to one thing that I think might be useful when you have members of his base repeat this claim to you. That is Article 1, Section 3, Clause 7 of the U.S. Constitution. And it states, Judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. But... The party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, 
judgment and punishment according to law. So to be clear, the United States Constitution says that if Trump had been impeached by the House, convicted by the Senate, removed from office, he could still be indicted. There was an expectation built into the Constitution that, yes, criminal penalties would apply. The idea of a blanket immunity is just, it's not real. So, given these developments occurring in the close proximity as far as time, what can we assume? They're throwing spaghetti at the wall, trying to see what sticks. Uh, they're throwing ketchup at the wall, trying to see what sticks. Uh, we can safely assume that they are going to attempt to flood the zone and put out a bunch of information that they know to be false, that is false on its face, that is something that most people would not believe, but they know that the more energized among their base well, they'll repeat it. And right now, as far as Trump world is concerned, they have to keep that base energized. They're losing their larger donors. They're losing support from mainstream Republicans. It's not going well. The only thing they have left is their base. And as Republicans like Kemp come out and just flatly say, no, he's lying. The the support the former president enjoys may start to collapse among the base. Now, one last thing that uh, I think is important to note when it comes to exoneration, because he used that word in his announcement about his major news conference. I would like to point to a different social media post that he put out uh, February 16th, 2023. And that says... Thank you to the special grand jury in the great state of Georgia for your patriotism and courage. Total exoneration. The USA is very proud of you. I'm starting to think that that word doesn't mean what he thinks it means. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.